Um, my name is Frances Press. I'm Associate Professor in Early Childhood at Charles Sturt University's School of Teacher Education. I'm based in Bathurst and I have had a long-standing interest in the policy frameworks that support young children's early childhood education and care. Today I want to talk about the productivity inquiry into childcare and early childhood learning. Now I think there are three ways in which this inquiry and its recommendations are fundamentally flawed. Firstly, it places at the forefront of the policy framework for young children's care and education, the workforce participation of women. Secondly, it privileges the needs and desires of employer groups over the needs of interest and interests of children. And thirdly, it disregards the, praise, the progress that we've made in the last 30 years about recognising the interrelationship between care and education. Of particular concern are the way in which the terms of reference frame the inquiry for the Productivity Commission. So the opening paragraph states that the Australian Government is committed to establishing a sustainable future for a flexible, affordable and accessible childcare and early learning market that helps underpin the national economy. I think this really takes us back to the 1980s in terms of the framing of children's early childhood care and education and it also completely ignores the critique of the OECD when it reviewed the Australian care and education system in the early 2000s. And this is what the country note had to say about the Australian early childhood system. The ad hoc development of early childhood policy over the years in relation to the needs of parents, the workplace and the economy has tended to subsume the needs and interests of children as synonymous there are tensions in this and it's opportune to reflect on current policy priorities from a perspective that places the interests and needs of children to the fore. And I think it's this focus on children's rights, their needs and interests, which is fundamentally missing from the framing of the recommendations of the um, Productivity Commission inquiry. By linking the provision of care and education of young children to the workforce and the economy, the Productivity Commission is also making the system for young children responsible for the workforce demands of employers and I think this is fundamentally wrong. So um, it's asking for government support for um, funding and regulation for young children to be responsive to what might be seen as quite unreasonable to unreasonable demands of employers in terms of asking families to work longer hours, irregular hours and unpredictable hours. And really those issues should be um, addressed through workplaces creating responsive, family friendly work environments, not through unreasonable demands on the early childhood system. Um, the other issue that concerns me about the Productivity Commission report is I think it takes um, a very old-fashioned view of the skills and expertise that are required of people that work with young children. It has recognised the need for early childhood teacher training and specialisations for the early, for the older age groups, but it's ignored really the need, ex except for the most basic training for children under three. And I find this hard to comprehend since in the last decade we've had enormous research on brain development, the importance of the first three years on young children's development, how this sets up a platform for their later success. It doesn't really come to grips with the fact that looking after very young children in group settings is fundamentally different from the parent-child relationship within the home. It does require specialist knowledge and skills. We know from our own research at CSU that the quality of environments for babies varies significantly according to not only the nature of the environment, whether it's centre-based or family daycare, but the skills and expertise and the propensities and dispositions of the carer. And um, 
we have come to recognise that those that look after very young children are educators and they actually need a body of knowledge to look after young children, care and educate them well. Fundamentally, the Productivity Commission inquiry doesn't examine policy from the perspective of the child or through placing the needs and interests of children at the forefront. It doesn't recognise the importance of sibling relationships in the early childhood program. It separates the notion of care from education when really um, all policy and all research has been reinforcing the nexus between care and education and actually stating that this care education nexus that at its best is so prevalent in early childhood programs should be having an upward influence on schooling programs. It's ignoring that um, junction completely. The care and education of children is about working with children, families and communities to create an environment in which all children can flourish. Um, it's not created through separating the education of children over three from the care and education of children under three. Um, it's not created by assuming that qualifications are not required for children under three. It's created by taking the best of research, by making the best and most informed guesses about what will, what will support young children and their families. And I think that we really have to push for a child-centred, child-focused policy framework for early childhood education and care. Australia is actually a relatively rich country and we have the wherewithal to build a fantastic system for children and families. Um, but this inquiry erodes the best of what we've got and will not build a sustainable system that will work into the future.